I would like to demonstrate how to use the Classroom Shared Drawing system for taking an image from your own computer, pushing it out to students, and then see where the students will be drawing on top of that image. On the left hand side here is the teacher view, and this is where you prepare the question, push it out to the students, and get an overview of uh, what the students have answered to, to that question. On the right hand side I have uh, opened a number of uh, student views, so to be able to demonstrate how to interact with, uh, with, this, with the system. These are just opened in a normal browser, but it could also be opened on a mobile phone or a tablet or other devices that can render web, web pages and, and so on. So let's get back to the, to the demonstration. To upload an, an image to this, we go into prepare question, choose file, and then I already found a, a suitable image here. I want to say open. And then I want to, as an action, take this image and push the private canvas. This is the one we have up here. And push that out to students. So the private canvas or the image should now appear on all the student views. In addition to the private canvas up here, we also have a canvas with input from students. And the difference between these two is that when some of the students start drawing um, on the question or the, the image, um, the student answers will appear down here. But on the private canvas, it's only the teacher that is able to draw or change anything. So let's see if the, the student can, can draw some uh, possible uh, answers here. Um, and the task have, that have been given to the students is to draw a line that separates the red from the green dots in, in this coordinate system. And we have uh, two uh, three different responses that have appeared here. And they can be seen here. Um, in a normal classroom setting, you will not only get uh, free responses, but might get uh, 20 or 50 or, or something like that. Um, and in that case, it can make sense to actually group the answers into uh, similar uh, answers and also get some idea of how many have, have done that. And you can do that by open action and then cluster student answers and tell it how many different groups of answers you expect in the, uh, or how many groups uh, the answers should be divided into. That will open up this uh, cluster student responses uh, part of the page where we can see that two students have drawn lines in this direction whereas a single student have uh, drawn a line that is more or less opposite of, of the two others here. Um, so that gives an indication of how the students have actually uh, answered the, the post question. We can also turn on and off what um, is being shown here. If I just want to get an overview of what the students have uh, answers, I can disable the show cluster answers and the show uh, private canvas. So it's only this canvas with input from students that are being shown. I can al actually also go down to the um, and activate this individual student canvases and I can see, okay, which students have answered uh, what and I also have the option of actually drawing back to the students. So if I want to put in a, a check mark here, I can do that and it appears in the student view over here and, and similar, I can, could also do it here. So in that way, I can inter interact with the students on an individual basis if uh, needed to. And it also appears over here. So these are the main way to, to use the system. Then after having interacted with the system, um, we can also go to this list of saved canvases that um, is a kind of history of what has been sent out to the students. And this is marked by a, a date and also a, a short description of that uh, canvas. Uh, so in this case, uh, separating plane, 
uh, could be one description of this one. Um, and here you can see what canvas I have pushed out to the students, what the combined student answers look like, and some of the clusters that have been found. So this makes it uh, possible to, to actually navigate. And I also have the option of uh, searching through this. Um, so if I want to have something with uh, a separating plane, uh, I can actually uh, go in, enter a search query up here, and then only the uh, saved canvases with that matches the search query will be shown here. So, yeah. That was a demonstration of the main uh, use case for the Classroom Shared Drawing System. I hope you find it interesting and feel free to reach out to me if, uh, if anything uh, shows up. I can be contacted on this uh, mail address down here h-e-m-i at m-m-m-i dot s-d-u-d-k. Have a nice day.